not the best angle, but um, I'm gonna do a get ready with me video. Never done this before, so excuse me if it's terrible. <laughs> I feel like Lily Bug right now. <laughs> just like the way she's right off of her vlogs. Anyways, and also I have a really bad migraine, but I just got done working out, I just got done showering. And I am now just going to get ready, but this is not what I wanted to do because I'm not a makeup artist, so that's not the focal point. Actually, I'm going to turn this down. Now it's better. Sorry if you can hear me that good. I forget about that stuff. It's a noob situation. So anyways, so I wanted to vlog about the Tinder guy that I had a Tinder for like a week. And that being said, oh my gosh, wow. I, I don't wait, hold on, back it up. I apologize. I had Tinder for like a day and I was so serious about it. You want to know how serious I was? I had Donkey Kong as my profile picture and I only think I used like my first name. I don't even think I used my last name. I don't even remember. It Basically, it was an ex-coworker at the time who was a present coworker that thought it would be a good idea. So I come across this kind of cute guy on there and he's my age, 29, now I'm 30. So this was, you know, maybe six months a year ago. So, um, I didn't, to backtrack, sorry, I'd gotten out of a breakup. I was like super miserable. I'm like super depressed. And like, I just was looking for like a rebound or like attention. You get it. So I come across this guy and we're going to name him Bamboo because his name was weird and Anyways, not like he's ever going to see this, but anyway, so Bamboo, like, and I kind of like hit it off. He was a Scorpio. He lived in the area. He was a student. He was full-time student. The only downside was he was living with his dad to save money, as students do. But uh, he was um, a chemist major, which I thought was like totally cool because he was like really into hip hop and just like super cute, you know? And, um, Tell us all this time, you know, things are too good to be true. No, it, it's just really weird because, like, what ended up happening with us is we were sexting, I guess, which I'm not really into sexting, but, you know, I just assumed that these were things that um, people do, like, in the modern age on Tinder. I mean, I, I'm mean, kind of um, just jumping around all over the place, but... Because I just, you know, it, it's just a ridiculous story. But anyway, so I uh, found him on Tinder, but I was, like, too uncomfortable and, like, didn't want to admit that I wanted to, like, hook up with someone via Tinder because I'm not a hoe. <laughs> now I read myself a tan of mojo right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a hoe. So um, I actually found that he had put on his info his Instagram. So I looked up his Instagram and we had a couple mutual friends. So what I did was I added him or started, to, uh, yeah, I added him and like liked a bunch of his photos and stuff. I started following him. And he kind of like hit me up and was like, what's up? And I was like, hey, I just thought like, you know, I don't know. I tried to make it like seem like I hadn't found him on um, Tinder because I didn't want to seem desperate. Anyways, so like I said, we sexed. He wants to, like, hang out soon. He says he has finals. He's like, after finals, um, we'll definitely hang out and stuff like that. And I'm like, cool, I'm down. And I'm like, I work over here. And he's like, oh, cool. And, like, I tell him I work at a dispensary. And he's like, oh, I don't really smoke anymore. He's like, but I used to sling weed and blah, blah, blah. So he's like, seems like, and he's also like, right now he's like doing this, like, straight edge thing to help with studying, which... I actually find endearing, but, you know, when you're me and you work at a dispensary, I mean, that's going to be kind of awkward when I, like, want to smoke weed and he, like, isn't. And then, like, if I want, like, social lubricant, aka a little bit of some alcohol or something, it's also going to be really awkward, especially considering the fact that, like, I'm not even into that, really. So, I don't know. I just, it just kind of, like, failed. It's really weird. I don't even know how to end this story. Because it just kind of organically, like, ended itself. Like, we just stopped talking. Um, I, like, hit him up maybe, like, once or twice. Like, like a couple weeks apart. And was just like, hey, uh, how's school? Or how's finals? And, like, I think it's, like, one of those things. I don't know much about Tinder. But I feel like I, like, lost, like, 
out based on like the amount of time that had elapsed you know what I mean like I feel like now I know better if I ever was to do tinder is I feel like it's like a now app you know instant like if someone was horny and wants to fuck or wants to date someone at that moment like you know the fact that we like went back and forth for so long it just kind of like I said organically like died but here's what's weird so now <laughs> I live in his town and I uh, have found that um, walking around in certain areas where I'm pretty sure he lives by um, makes it like, I'm just wondering if like one day I'm just going to like run into him, like literally like run into him and like, it's going to just be awkward because I know for a fact, I mean, if he's ignoring my messages, he's not going to go out of his way to acknowledge the fact that, hey, we were casually sexting for a minute via Instagram because of Tinder. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. It's just really embarrassing. And so my whole impression and take on Tinder is that embarrassing. Um, I have a girlfriend who hooked up with someone via Tinder and now they're dating and they're happy. But I would say overall the stories I hear, it's like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, obviously. And then sometimes people get their feelings in the mix. I mean, I got my feelings hurt. So I'm happy we didn't hook up because he sounds like a piece of shit. But like I said, the whole chemist thing, but like being in the hip hop and like being around my area, it just made me feel like really like, and being my age, which is rare. I just thought we had like so much in common and I don't really think any guys are cute ever. And he actually seemed kind of like, you know, worthy of like, you know, at least a date, possibly a hookup. Anyways, I'm done with my story on Tinder, but yeah, um, maybe I'll tell you the other one about Maybe I'll tell you uh, another story time later about my girlfriend and how she goes to the guy, basically, because of Tinder. I guess the vagina, aka the puss, was too good because he started getting feelings. Anyways, I'll talk to you later, and uh, bye. Have a good one.